How did you react to the whole HBO thing? And I know you've been asked, but for our viewers, how did you react first initially, and how did you find out about the news, and just what do you say about the situation? Is this going to avoid fights from happening for fans? I was just um, extremely surprised, extremely surprised. Um, well, my CEO Richard Schaefer gave me a call and uh, and he told me, did you hear the news? I'm like, what are you talking about? I was probably playing golf somewhere, I don't know. And uh, he tells me, uh, yeah, so you know, this is what they decided to do. And my first reaction was, yeah, I was very surprised, but... With a few curse words, I bet, in there. Well, you know, <laughs> but I tell, I tell Richard, look, we have the best stable. Showtime is, 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 is uh, you know, we're doing a lot of fights with Showtime, with CBS uh, down the road eventually. Our fighters are happy. We're making the best fights happen now. It's okay. It's fine. Hey. Look, them pulling the plug from the biggest promoter in the world. And they're in the boxing business. HBO is in the boxing business. Not doing business with the biggest promoter in the world, that's, it's, that's not our problem. That's not our problem whatsoever. So we're going to continue doing fights. We're going to continue making events. The biggest events, mark my words. Putting the best against the best. Going aggressively and signing fighters and getting the best fighters we're gonna go I mean it's full steam ahead baby let's do it you know and so uh, that's it is what it is with you saying that what would you say to a fan that says you know what it is your guys's problem this needs to be fixed because say someone like Brandon Rios can't get a fight with the, the, the best in his division, which is a Lucas Matisse or a Danny Garcia, you know, and people feel that it's just going to keep splitting. It's going to be two big promotions going head to head, and that fights are going to get double booked on the same night, like we saw with Chavez and Martinez and Canelo and Lopez, and that it, it, it's a cycle and that it, it needs to stop. Well, you know, it's, I mean, you, you, you mentioned Canelo with uh, Lopez and uh, Chavez. Both events did extremely well, which was great for boxing. It really didn't hurt. But it made fans like choose. They had to choose one or the other instead of the main focus being on that guy. Put it on DVR. <laughs> I mean, look, the Canelo Lopez was the most watched event on Showtime. Ratings were great. Ticket sales were amazing. Chavez sold a lot of pay-per-views. Ratings were great. The ticket sales were amazing. I mean, I think the more boxing we have on TV, the better. Obviously, this feud doesn't help whatsoever. I must say it again, we've always are willing to work with anybody. But, I mean, it's, it's funny how Top Rank will never work with us. It's just, it, they just will never work with us. And it's not because we cannot come to an agreement, you know. It's, it's not that. It, it, goes, it goes way beyond that. And I'm not going to go into details, but... They know why they won't work with us. Yeah. Well, we hope the uh, the boxing landscape changes. But Golden Boy Promotions has a, a great set of events coming up. Oscar, as always, is great talking to you. Thank Here you. with the Golden Boy, Marcos Vegas. Thank you for watching us over here at the Boxing Channel. Thanks.